from Polymarket. Polymarket right now, the betting odds, not just for Donald Trump, who's winning, but Republican sweep is currently the plurality at 49 percent. The idea here is that Republicans are going to win the presidency, the House and the Senate. Oh, yeah. This is the bet being made with $40 million in the market. 3.7 has been placed on yes bets that the Republicans take everything. Donald Trump, of course, is favored to win by 538, as well as Nate Silver now. And Polly Market has Donald Trump, I believe, 65. So we'll jump over to politics real quick. Latest election forecast, 63.7 to Kamala Harris is 36.4. And what are the Democrats saying? There was an article they published where they said this is market manipulation. Yeah. Mm. That some whale has invested a couple million into poly market to trick people into thinking that Trump's going to win. And then they go to the actual stock market, put some shorts on a bunch of stocks, and then they're going to make money. And I'm like, well, that sounds absurd, conspiratorial and ridiculous. (laughs) Reality is regular people, when asked if you had to bet money right now and who's going to win, they keep saying Donald Trump. Are there numbers uh, defining how many people are betting and what the bets are? Is there? So we've got, is this $2 billion? Holy crap. $2 billion placed on Donald Trump. Or uh, I'm sorry, in the election. So a billion. You've got $720 million for Trump to win and $456 million for Kamala Harris to win. Other Republicans, 206 million. Wow. Joe Biden. Could you imagine if having bought Joe Biden bets on poly market a few months ago and then he just quits and you're like, nah, and you lose everything. Look at this. RF Kennedy had, has $139 million. Mm. Vivek, this is kind of crazy. So okay, right whoever now, did Chris Christie deserved to lose that money. That's yeah. ridiculous. Here's my here, here's what I'm saying. So uh, where does, does it does it mention the resolution of the bet? I don't know where it is. Uh, I think it said said uh, where is it? When this will actually it's right under here. Here we go. This market will resolve. Yes, if Trump wins the 2024 election, the resolution source for this is AP, Fox News and NBC. When those three sources call the race for the same candidate, then you you win. If all three sources haven't called the race for the same candidate by the inauguration date, the market will resolve based on who is inaugurated. You didn't plan for this poly market because what if there's no inauguration? (sighs) Or how about this? What if Donald Trump, both cla- both claim they win. AP and NBC claim Kamala wins. Fox and a handful of other outlets say say Trump wins. But Fox is not going to take that, you know. But uh, hypothetically, yeah, let's yeah. say they're like, Fox goes. Fox I don't is know. CNN with a blue background now. Sure, not doing that. But let's just say these three sources don't come to a conclusion, or they abstain. They say we're not going to call it. And then come January 6, twenty twenty five, when the count is supposed to happen, Democrats say no, we block. We're filing a lawsuit. The judge puts a, an injunction or whatever, blocks the, the vote count and then says inauguration suspended. I think what happens in this regard, it would go to the Speaker of the House temporarily or something like this. I don't I, I, we, we went over this in 2020. There would be a temporary president or something would happen. But my, my, my main point is not so much what happens to the country is what happens to this, this money. Could you imagine <laughs> if you're like, I bet on Trump and they're like, we don't know who won. I would guess that people would just get their money back. I would hope that that would be that would be the honorable thing for you, this. Com- is it a company? You think a business is just going to give two billion dollars worth of money? I don't know how it works. Is I it, doubt is that. Is Polymarket holding the money right now? Is that how it works? Did I I think you have to put the money in. Yeah, and so you definitely this, have to. You definitely have to submit. That's the money. insane. Is that tr- is that real? That Polymarket's holding billions of dollars it, in there? Is it a gambling scheme? Yes. Like, and it's, it's sort gambling. of a legitimized it's gambling. So it's speculation. Thing. It's allowed. It's legal. Okay. Then my guess is that they would pay back with a zero dividend. No way. They'd I mean, be what else would no they do? Chance. They'd give you back minus 10%. You think they'd have to keep a, a transaction? Well, they got to run the company. Fees or something. They, they're paying to maintain the website and the staff to make all this work. Someone has to do the work. Yeah, they should put that in their terms pretty I rapid. I bet it's in there. I bet it. it's there. Yeah. But that's crazy. Oh, what if what if there's no inauguration? See, that's why I got LASIK. I got uh, LASIK eye surgery because I'm like, what if something happens? I'm not going to be running around with like my contact boxes, like running around like, oh, you know. Or glasses? Like I got I was like, yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah, but then when you turn sure 40, my eyes, your eyes go bad again. Well, I got dental work. Yeah, but it's still good. That's why I got dental yeah, work. So we can identify with... you. Yeah, no, go. No, just so I don't have to worry <laughs> about everybody, it hurting every, if the power goes out or something. Everybody, you want to go get your physicals now. You want to stock up on contacts, get your glasses fixed, get everything set up. Whatever you got to do. Basic eye surgery. I, I don't I don't recommend that. I, I think, <laughs> knew you wouldn't. No, I, I'm not a big fan. Did you? It, yeah, was what's one the, the, it was one of the best things I ever did. So how long has it been since you got it? It's been a couple years. 
But no, I was like, what am I, I, I was thinking about this very deeply. Like I had really bad vision, like negative five to five, if you know it, that you're, that's, that's I'm like 21, 20. What normal people see at 120 feet, I see from other way around. What normal people see. I don't know. We're talking about different numbers. feet away, I see 20 feet. Is that that blurry? Okay. It's crazy bad. I couldn't that's see minus, anything. Minus five is massively bad. It's massively bad. So, um, yeah. So it was, you, you like can't even see the monitor in front of your face. I would, I, yeah, I couldn't make out like the details of my hand. Yeah. So it was important for people like that. It was worth the risk of LASIK. I, I uh, do sun gazing. And if you get away from monitors. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, oh, what? I can't recommend what it does to that anyone. Mean you, does that mean you he gaze stares, at the sun? He stares yeah. at the sun. I don't stare. I gaze. Uh -huh. It's different. You don't focus on it. You just let the <laughs> sun white wash over the back of your eyes. It's an right, ancient right. Yeah, Hindu don't, tradition, don't, ancient don't do Indian. This. Don't. No, no. It's an ancient tradition. Anybody who's listening to this, this sounds whack. Yeah. yeah. Talk don't to your doctor. Do but, but read about Talk it. I am. Actually, I'm, I'm sort of getting convinced. I'm buying in. <laughs> no. I'm, no. Are you doing wait, 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 Are you doing wait, wait, perineal wait. tanning as well? <laughs> Never tried it, no. So then I don't think you can speak about the sun. Then I don't think you're an authority here on the sun. We're going to save that for the members show. I'll tell you all about other things I don't do on the members show. Um, sun gazing was interesting from my experience. I allowed it. You know, I, I was doing it when the sun's low, but whatever. It, the floaty things that were appearing in my eyes, you ever see those floaty, goopy things? They yeah. were melting away. And I was like, wow, this might yeah, you be. You were killing the worms. Or glaucoma. <laughs> oh, so wait, 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 wait. Real quick. Poly Market doesn't allow U.S. bets? Yeah, they don't allow you. That's really? what I was telling you. So they don't allow U.S. bets. Really? But, um, I thought that, that changed because Kalshi has no, been advertising in New York. No, so Kalshi is the one that you can bet with really? from the U.S. So people are doing poly market, but you have to do it through a VPN, which I don't think is legal. So I think if you are, you know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly. But Kalshi is like authorized in the United States. So let's pull that one up. Kalshi's got Trump 60-40, but there's only 50 million bet. So yeah, wait, this is the, the, so this is largely the world betting on Trump to win. Okay. The world wants Trump to win. I get a lot of messages. I'm sure you guys do too. But on my Instagram account, especially, I'll get so many people in Europe messaging me saying we need Trump because everyone else understands that the only people who don't get it are spoiled Americans who live in Candyland who don't understand what we have and how lucky we are. But all these Europeans write in, like they yeah. all know they all know what happens to the world if there's not a strong America. Yeah, man, the Imperial, the British Imperial com Company is like powerful, man. I think I, I side with America over Britain. No offense, British dudes. Like, I love that you have a king. No, I actually don't. I think you need to do something about the monarchy, like fix it. Monarchy's not even doing it. the monarchy into a corporation. You need to make the Where royal family a corporation and have a normal oh. republic like the rest of the world. No. The barbarian king. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You're calling Charles a barbarian? Just having a king is a barbaric way the to live. girls are against this. What on earth? rules you? That's Where ridiculous. Do you get, okay, so first of all, like they have a parliament and like they elect their representatives. So what on earth are you even talking king. about? King. That they have a king that, what does he do? that owns the land that, that they live on. He They are his subject to this man that owns them. Does he, he like, okay, does he beat them? Though. I don't know. He could. <laughs> if he wanted to, maybe he could probably would, do a maybe lot he, of crazy stuff. Maybe people would be better stuff. off if that was actually Hey, you don't need like, a king. You don't need a guy well, running who, your who life. Who are you to tell him. the whole I'm a I, 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 citizen, I, I, population I'm a that born they, and raised American. <laughs> yeah, but well, I mean, like, what? Do you, why Why are you the authority on whether or not England needs a king? Or I have the, I I have the luxury like of being able to talk shit about that guy because I'm not British. I just don't know Yes, I understand that, but what I'm what I'm saying is why why do you believe that? Like, where where is your where is your I mean, it's a, it's your theory coming from? King kingship is bar is ancient, bizarre so ownership. Just because it's, it's just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, where does it work? It's degraded. It, 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 if you get a crazy king, you're screwed. It's a horrible way to live. Oh yeah, Rud Rud someone's tyranny. Rudyard was talking about this. It was really fascinating. He said there was a like a Chinese dynasty where the emperor was high on opium. And the, the capital's being ransacked, and he had no idea what was happening because he was just high out of his mind. You need a group of people governing. You need the people no to way. govern themselves. I mean, oh, you need God. sovereign no, citizens. No, you, you need just three branches of government. Yeah. You need the people. You need the states to have representation within one branch. You need a council of elders, like a, a court of judges. And then you need an executive branch who can make decisions quickly and protect the country. At least. Amen. And you could probably hey. even de decentralize it even more than that. Like, you could have the citizens. 50 states, maybe? <laughs> 50 states with councils. Each state has a council that they, they do. send. Well, that we sounds do a whole lot like America, bro. Well, no, we just send senators right now, but we could send a council as well. well, no, no, well we're not faring so well, though, and we haven't stood the test of time yet. So. We're, we've done actually, we've done, I believe that we've done way better than most people want to give us credit for. Yeah. Sure. Things yeah. could be, if the, if the Constitution of the United States wasn't as resilient and well thought out as it is, 
as it is, we would not we we could very easily be in some whole other kind of mess. There's a there's a lot of people that are like, oh, these things are bad, and it's easy to pick out the things that are bad. But the United States is still the best place in the world to live. Yeah, you know that phrase, democracy is the worst form of government until you try all the other ones. Yeah. The reason I bring it up is because yeah. you're talking about Europeans wanting Trump to win. Yeah. I think Trump represents the common man sovereignty, whereas Kamala Harris, the Democratic Party, I'm not talking installing just a candidate people. is like tyranny at its fine. It's like what the king would do, yeah. give you a governor general. Well, I'm going to move you away from this monarchy thing because it's people who are in Sweden and Norway and Switzerland, like I, Germany. Like I get messages from all those people saying, hi from co- this country. Like we need Trump. People that right? don't live under a king. People that and, don't live under a king. And I, wa- I, I want to, there's one more thing that I want to at least mention. Like I, I understand, I think I understand what you're saying. Why is your ire pointed at England when when England is not the most brutal monarchy on earth? Right. I mean, you could you because could it's not you could brutal. be you could be pointing to say Saudi Arabia, which you know has people get their heads yeah, cut but off but for, our friends now. for being homosexual now, or uh, Bhutan, which is apparently the the if they have their currency is like happiness. It's but it's the king has decided this is what it's going to be in my kingdom. Apparently, it's the happiest country on earth, but you better not violate the king's will in that country or you're not going to be very happy. Britain is reasonable. The people are reasonable, and they're in a state of reasonability with that monarchy. We could convert it into a corporation, (laughs) and they'd be the wealthiest corporation on earth, landowners, and then the family would still be super rich. I don't know that establish a republic. I don't know that we as Americans can do any of that stuff. Wait, 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 wait. We should, we should. Here's here's my plan. (laughs) We're going to send. We're sending Alex Stein to Antarctica. And there we go. Ian to Great Britain. And he's going to convince the people. And that's going to be our I think it starts with Harry. Harry is the oh black God. sheep of the family. <laughs> if anyone oh is going to Ian is really dedicated to power. To you know, I think if Donald Trump promised, I think he did. Did Donald Trump say, or it was just a joke, that he was going to deport Meghan Markle if he became president? Uh, I think he would win. I'm already awesome. voting for him. You know I don't think Harry's like, I could <laughs> only vote for the guy so many times. It's so I, hard, right? I have a lot of respect. Whatever their, their family weird relationships, I don't know, but I have a lot of respect for Harry that's saying, oh. you know what, power no. and wealth. You, no have way. Res- Harry you, have, you have a lot of respect for Harry and he's married to Meghan Markle. Yeah, yeah, but he walked I'm going to negative from, one he, all your He sold all his country. guns. Like, he was a he was a BA, like, helicopter pilot and he gave it all up Meghan Markle is the queen of his life. Life. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, now he lives under the tyranny of Meghan Markle. You should well, does. Really that much better? Is it, is he, nah, he lives in the United States at this point. California. California. So he's LA. like, he's found that American republicanism is far superior to, to British monarchy. No, that's not why. His wife said, we're moving to a <laughs> no, He was the Prince of England. He would have said, you're staying here with me if you no, really wanted no. to. No. That's what you're doing with no. a fucking prince. No. I just you want. No. So you hold your life. I just, I just want to say, I, I really appreciate. You haven't been reading the tabloids. I just, just want to say, I, I really do appreciate Ian's passion on the issue of the British monarchy despite just being some dude from the US who has no ties or I care he doesn't know you have no about, idea what you're talking about what about, about like <laughs> your right to, to be sovereign oh, wait, but, but, but Ian, Ian, Ian there's an opportunity for you in Thailand because What's the opportunity there's been that well so this is like 10 years ago but there were massive protests against monarchy in form of a parliamentarian system <laughs> And so you had the red shirts and the yellow shirts, and they were fighting. I don't want to fighting. This is the thing. I think Britain is in a position to do it peacefully by transitioning their monarchy into a corporation. I think what Ian's saying is, I was born 250 years too late. I yeah. should have been born so I could fight England and and. No, I love every guy good. that I know from England. Every girl is phenomenal humans that are basically laws. like me. They're not doing anything. Like the the king or queen doesn't get to do anything. Charles, as far as I know, is pretty they tight with the money. World Economic Forum. And yeah, that but that's just makes being me rich very and connected. Uncomfortable. But so is Alex Soros. Like you just, it's what you're saying. They're not actually influencing the law. The, the thing that people are upset about in the UK is that they get a ton of money to live in big palaces and and get dressed up all pretty. Like that, They're that's a what net bothers benefit people. because of tourism, the tourism and stuff. That's the thing. They create, they, there's actually, they yeah, there's generate revenue made, for the UK. 100%. That dude, Charles, is the king of Canada. He's the king of Australia. He's the king of New Zealand. And Canada could probably use it. There's He's an yeah. emperor. He's a literal emperor. They they rebranded in 1997. They were like, let's not call it the British Empire anymore. It's bad press. Let's call Total. it the United Kingdom. Let's change the name. Well, so they're, the, they the, try and the, talk the, like he's just the king. The United Kingdom is specifically Northern Ireland, yeah. you know, Scotland, Wales. Yeah, they tried to get away from the king, the British Empire 
sculpting, but it's yeah, still but the an empire. empire. The empire British, is the Commonwealth. The guy's empire an emperor. Ended, That's, are you cool it, with having an emperor? Like, British come on. Empire ended at, yes, I believe, at the end, they, end of World War I. It's one guy owning and controlling all. You were just talking about a parliamentary system. They with, literally have oh, a parliament over there, there bro, that they elect. You just asked me what's wrong with an emperor. It's one guy controlling Everyone, but that's not what the UK is. What are you it talking is an empire. about? It's the British. They have a empire. house of they have a they, house of Commons. They do in they name, and they can Lords. be replaced. The governor generals can replace the prime ministers at will, and they at the pleasure of the oh, king is what it why, says. Why, why, Read the why, laws. Why, why not any other country? Why only this one? It's Britain. It's it's Australia. It's it's England. It's Australia. It's it's New Zealand. And you know, it's Canada. I would love to be. Mine is worse. I would love well, to I'm like not... Ian be upset about something. That's not an actual problem. You know what I mean? Like that's... <laughs> Yet. That's like why that's, I'm talking about it now because like, it's not a dude, listen, You need like more on. problems. I look far in the future. <laughs> I, I, I would like to take the clip the from the show, eye. take that clip, and then make a cartoon where like 10 years later, Britain reinvades the United States and conquers it. <laughs> like if your is over, first, if you're I'm cool living under an emperor when it's chill, you're going to be screwed when that it's not anymore. I, don't, I really <sighs> strongly believe that, that it is not. The situation that you believe it is. Well, I, I don't. I, I can see what it could become, and it, we cannot live under I, like, imperial. I don't even I, I, know I, what we're arguing about anymore. We're not. As we're just, we're okay. talking about good Trump times. Guess what? Hey, I'm the times. captain now. Kamala. I'm the captain now, and I'm moving us along. I can't handle. No. This. No. Exactly I cannot why. handle this well, conversation let me tell you, anymore. This has become ridiculous. Kamala Harris. What does your head say? Kamala Harris represents it's imperial it's strategy. It's she was placed in white. It's a white MAGA. How can you guys not care about Kamala not getting a prize? Primary. It's a white hat that says "Make America Great." It's, so, so it's, it's like so it's I'm a, I apologize. Light mega. Light, light mega. <laughs> exactly. Wow. It so it's like the opposite sometimes of Elon. No, but it's not. It's frustrating to be in. Oh the, my God. We're... Are you going to stop talking? <laughs> if you do, bro, we're trying to move on. You keep saying the same thing over and over again. It's been ten minutes. <laughs> you just keep talking. I'm the okay, so so light maga. That's like the opposite of Elon's it's dark light maga. maga. But you know what? I actually I I had the pleasure of meeting Antonio Brown at this Pittsburgh uh, voter registration thing on Sunday, and I was wearing my dark maga hat, and he took it. He took my hat. What did he, and what did he do with it? He wore it. Did you call the police? No. <laughs> well, they wouldn't arrest him. They wouldn't arrest. Him. But um, that was a bad joke. If anyone really got like the depth of that joke, but um. No, he wore it, and then he was in the box with Trump at the Steelers game wearing my hat, wearing this dark MAGA hat that was given to me by a friend. Uh, and so it wasn't really my hat, but, like, you know, my hair had been in the hat. So, like, technically I was, like, almost in the box with Trump. Wow. Try not to be jealous. Um, but I did want to say something about that game, which is I was at that Steelers game for p most of it, and they were not panning to Trump. They were not talking about him being there at all. It was so different than the Alabama game. If you remember the the videos from that where the whole, you know, it was crazy and they kept shooting over to him. There, It was as if Trump wasn't in the stadium, which, I mean, Pittsburgh is dark blue, but there were a lot of MAGA hats in the crowd, but there's something there. I mean, Pittsburgh is not too far from here, and it is. They got, they got it. There's a university up there, and it's, it was funny. I saw some, like, flyer posted up near the university out there. I can't remember which I don't know. What university is it? Pittsburgh That's University. Uni yeah, University. And it was just Pittsburgh. like, it was like Charlie Kirk is a fascist or something written on it. And he's coming. And I was like, this is so ridiculous. But a bunch of people I met were like, hey, we're big fans, you know? Yeah. No, listen, I was wearing a MAGA hat and people, I get compliments. I get compliments in New York. I was with a friend in the West Village in like the heart of Manhattan last week wearing, a, I was wearing my a black MAGA hat with white writing. He was wearing a Boston Red Sox hat and he got all the hate, all the FUs to that Boston hat and my MAGA hat got all the love. Well, something I mean, is different. Look, if you wear a Boston hat in New York City, <laughs> that's, that's, I mean. Yeah, but what does it mean that in 2020, I was living in New York in 2020 and I was, I didn't wear the hat because I didn't want to be punched in the face because I was calculating, can I afford, do I want to go through dental surgery if someone punches me in the <laughs> face because I'm wearing a MAGA hat? And, and now all it won't happen. compliments. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't happen anymore. There no. was a period, but now people have basically chilled. Mm -hmm. And I and I think this is this is the that, that, that's why we did the show last week where we were talking about Andrew Schultz when he said Trump's going to win a landslide. He did an interview with them. Everyone was giving him the nod. And I'm like, that's the normie people down to earth. Mm -hmm. We're we're politicos. We're trapped in this space. We we watch the news all day. We know about Kamala. We know about Trump. Regular people who don't pay attention and don't want to pay attention nodding to you and you're a comedian and you're like, I don't know nothing about this, but man, everyone loves Trump. That sounds like Trump's going to win. Yep. Or at least Trump's won the argument. I don't know what the shadow campaign is going to be this time. You could be right. It doesn't mean you win. It's, that's the hard yeah. thing.
Right. Democrats are going to be like, we found ballots on the moon. The, I mean, the, <laughs> they're coming back from the space station. Remember they were trapped up there? Yeah. They found ballots. we got to bring you know, them down. And you know who brought them back from space? Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. <laughs> Historically, the, the Democrats have had such a really good ground game, such a really good get out the vote. Mm. Um I don't know what, whatever you want to call it, but they've been so ballot good at harvesting. getting. Ballot harvesting. Well, not. I mean, yes, ballot harvesting, but like, the 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 organizing that the left does is significantly better than the organizing that the right has 100%. done historically. So there, I'm always concerned with the ability of the Republicans to get the votes out the way that they need to. Yeah. Seeing the advanced, ta- you know, numbers and stuff, I saw Mark Halperin was talking on his podcast that if things keep going the way that things are going if there's no significant changes that we'll know that Donald Trump will win on election day bef- like the before yeah. any of the you know like right when voting starts that that if things continue this way there won't be any way for the democrats to come back which i would love to see clearly but at the same time the because the republicans you know have such a bad history with it, it i'm i'm always apprehensive and i'm always i say it on x all the time you need to go vote you if you can go vote early go vote early i voted yesterday i or was today tuesday i voted yesterday i was in new hampshire in the morning cast my vote already done done deal go vote if you can vote early get it done get it out of the way so thanks for checking out this clip from timcast irl make sure to watch the show live monday through friday at 8 p.m subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there